Thank you for watching Phone System Hero. You can visit us directly on our YouTube channel by clicking our channel name or by logging on to youtube.com slash phone system hero. Today we have a UX5000 phone with the UX5000 phone system and we'll be learning how to park a call on this phone system. Parking a call is an alternative way of placing a call on hold and most uh, most modern phone systems have this feature already built in, but the way to access this feature is usually different depending on what phone system brand you're looking at. Right here, we're going to learn how to park a call on your UX5000 by NEC phone system. Basically, par uh, basically, since it's an al I said it was an al alternative way of holding a call, it is pretty different from your regular hold button. On phone systems with high line capacities, your system administrator tends to use loop keys to access your outside lines rather than direct outside line keys. So on this phone we have a loop key, but notice we have another phone next to me. Notice when I'm on an outside call, on another phone, the only button that's lit up is the button that's designated to show when the other phone is on the phone not our loop key because each loop key on each phone is basically a personal line that no one else can retrieve unless they park the call so if I'm on a call I am a hundred percent certain that no one else in the office is able to listen in on my call because it's on a personal loop so since it's on a personal loop let's say you're on a call on one of your loops and the person on the phone would like to talk to someone else in another department. So if we place the call on hold, like we said, they still won't receive it. Watch. I have the call. I press hold. It's flashing on this phone, but it's not flashing on this one. Watch. That red button is not the call. That's actually a button that we programmed to show when this phone, aka the receptionist phone, is on the phone. Watch. When we hang up, that phone goes out. But the call is still on hold. Not on this phone, because like we said, it's a personal hold. So consider the call park feature like a general hold spot. So we're gonna learn how to call park to share the call with someone else if they wanna transfer the call. But the call park feature is if the call is for someone else in the office, but you do not know where they are, so you can't transfer the call to their extension. You have to make a page for them to pick up the call from a near phone. All right, so we're gonna have a call on the line, and basically we have three call park buttons, one, two, and three. They basically do the same thing, but you have to make sure you remember what uh, park you put it on. Let's park it on one. Just simply hit the button, and notice it starts flashing in green here. And also notice, on another phone, the same park one button will be flashing in red. That is actually that phone call placed on park by another extension, but it is shared with us, so any person can basically pick up that call. Watch what happens when you hit that button. We're connected to that line. So you can retrieve the line from any phone. That concludes our video on call parking. Hope I was able to help. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.